All right, before we get into this video, everybody, make sure that you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and have all bell notifications enabled for this channel as, in case you didn't know, I got multiple strikes on my channel and my channel almost terminated over some BS, but it is what it is. I've learned my lesson and I'm not gonna be covering certain topics anymore. However, just make sure that you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join our community Discord server. Links are down below. Thank you. Now, this recent drama surrounding Mr. Beast's friend, who goes by the name of Chris, who recently came out as a trans woman. All right, small correction. As I was rewatching this video in the editing software, I just want to say that he did not come out as a trans woman. Actually, they've come out as, I don't even know what to really call it, but they don't have any pronouns and they only specify that they are on hormone replacement therapy. They did not claim that they are trying to be a woman. I don't know what to call it. I guess non-binary gender fluidity is the term that the young folks are using nowadays. I don't know, but I just wanted to clarify that. And is according to them on hormone replacement therapy and has been on this treatment for two months. And all of this drama was sparked by this Twitter account by the name of Lublix on Twitter. They posted a tweet about a week ago with two pictures side by side of Chris before you know, you know, starting this treatment and after within this whole two month process of him getting on hormone replacement therapy. And then after that, Mr. Beast's friend Chris then decided to retweet quote that by saying, I've been on HRT for two months. And then after that little small interaction, as far as I know, a whole bunch of before and after photos started popping up of Chris, Chris and his wife and his new baby boy. And with the same photo that we saw before of him now going through this procedure, here we can see another photo of Chris again, next to a photo of him on the hormone replacement therapy with long purple nails. I guess this was a screenshot from one of their YouTube channel videos. Here we go again with the same photo of him and his family or his former family now, since apparently based on what I heard, him and his wife did get divorced and I assume the baby is now with her. And here we can see in that same very post is a new photo of Chris smiling next to some kind of Mr. Beast customized skateboard. And I'm not gonna lie, all of this is really sad to me and I'm gonna get into why it's really sad to me in a bit. And I'm just gonna be truthfully honest and it's not gonna come from a place of hate it's just it is what it is right but this whole post is ironic because this is coming from ollie london somebody who was identifying as trans or something like that i'm not sure what their identity was but they've definitely based on my knowledge have detransitioned and as of right now seems to be on this mission of calling all this stuff out and going against the grain and seems to be against transforming your body into something else that it originally was not and whether or not you believe what he's doing is right or wrong is completely up to you that's your opinion i kind of don't care but um but i just find it interesting as a former trans woman or whatever he was identifying as before him now calling out another person who's going through the same process it just seems kind of alarming but um ali london in this tweet did go on to say that youtuber chris tyson went from masculine family man with a two-year-old son to transgender and pumped full of estrogen hormones all in the space of a few months chris from youtube's biggest channel mr beast decided to begin transitioning two months ago and start HRT hormones, which means hormone replacement therapy. In a tweet shared days ago, he stated his body, and I quote, has already started to change, unquote, and now uses any pronouns. And what's strange to me is that apparently Sneeko, who is one of Andrew Tate's disciples, used to be friends with Chris, and he recently came out and said this. Chris from Mr. Beast. So people saw this picture. You can see him in the replies. Mr. Beast is like, is backing this up. He's like, opinion irrelevant ratio. Here's what the ratio. The Chris I know was like a truck driving, AK-47 shooting, Call of Duty playing, dip chewing. Yep. That was the Chris I knew. He didn't say that. He didn't say the, the part where it's gonna get you canceled. But that was the Chris I knew. It was, woo, Trump. What's up with all these trannies? The Chris, he had a Southern accent. He was driving monster trucks and he helped me shoot my first AK-47. And he was chewing dip and he was smoking Marlboro Reds. He had just bought a big truck with all the Mr. Beast money. That was Chris. What the fuck happened? The people that are encouraging this, they're not, they think that they're doing the right thing. They're all brainwashed. Even Mr. Beast thinks that he's doing the right thing by supporting his friend Chris. Brainwashed. If you really cared, you would not encourage his delusion now. You would look at the long term and see that this is something that he's doing because he is brainwashed by social media, because he's living in the West where this is pushed by a bunch of garbage. If you were really his friend right now, you would hear what I'm saying, because someone's gonna clip this and send it to him. You would tell him you've made the wrong decision. Transgenderism is a legitimate mental illness. Believing that you're something that you're not. 
You say anorexia is a mental illness and it's believing that you're a different body weight. How is it not a mental illness to think that you're a different gender? Multiple personality disorder, there's they, them. <sighs> so yeah, and then Sneeko then proceeds to go on and kind of spread a little bit of misinformation about anorexia and trying to compare it to transgenderism, which is kind of in the same category, but not the same thing at all. They both do deal with body dysmorphia, but obviously with anorexia, you can always eat more. Although it may be tough, you can eat more. With transgenderism, especially how it's done nowadays, by injecting your body with hormones and mutilating yourself in some procedures to simulate the genitals of the opposite sex, that shit can really harm you long term and will basically make you a long term patient reliant on the medical and hospital industry for the rest of your life. And at the end of the day, that's what they really want. They want to profit from people's misery. They want to make you a lifelong patient of Big Pharma. They want to keep you trapped and enslaved in a state that you can never escape from but i'm just gonna leave that topic for another video i'm not gonna go on a tangent i'm gonna stay on this this specific topic for now and keep in mind what sneeko said since he was actually friends with this man i mean person or whatever pronouns they go by i'm not really trying to get into all that because i really do not have a vested interest in what they identify as but i just do find it interesting mr beast and his friend chris used to make content like this all right time to see if they've updated the gender list They have 63 genders up there, but they can't have my gender. That's Chris right there. Bro, what are you doing? Bro? Did, did you just assume my gender? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to misgender you. I'm... You're such a hellophobe. Get out! I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. Ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of soaring over the oil fields, dropping hot, sticky loads on disgusting foreigners. Now, if you weren't alive in 2016, 2015, 2014, basically when we were all teenage boys, this was a major meme. You know, this is when the whole I identify as anything meme started becoming a thing because mainstream news started pushing a certain narrative that we as teenage boys just found hilarious. Like back then we were like, what are you, you telling us that there's about a hundred different genders and that I can identify as anything? So we definitely took that and ran with it and it was a good time. People say to me that a person being a helicopter is impossible. I'm having a plastic surgeon install rotary blades, 30 millimeter cannons, and AMG-114 Hellfire missiles on my body. From now on, I want you guys to call me Apache and respect my rights. So clearly back then they were just making a joke and a meme and a satirical video about the whole idiocy of the entire concept of identifying as anything. Clearly to this day it's still stupid but since that video Chris has gotten older, got a girlfriend, married her, they had a baby together and at some point within that specific timeline after they blew up on YouTube with their charity videos handing out money you know you know doing real world social experiments and pranks or whatever Chris somehow became afflicted with gender dysphoria and i'm not gonna lie i just find the entire situation sad as he decided to create a family with a woman who probably did not expect that she probably didn't expect her husband to all of a sudden one day along the the journey of their life together and building a family to one day identify as a woman and hop on hormone replacement therapy and to change his pronouns and put their family now in the public spotlight like i can only imagine how embarrassed she must be feeling right now but that's neither here nor there but yeah after after this other Twitter account by the name of Yo6 came out and it was revealed that Chris was going through this process. He tweeted out saying old Chris would make fun of the new Chris which was true. I just showed you guys the video. We all just saw Mr. Beast and Chris, I don't know how many years ago, they were probably around 19, so maybe five or six, making a skit video, making fun of the whole identifying as 60 whatever genders there are and the absurdity of the concept. So in fact, the old Chris would. And we also saw Sneeko talk about his experience with Chris. Chris being, you know, I guess the stereotypical Midwest or Southern boots to the ground, gun shooting, tobacco chewing, and maybe slightly edgy making fun of everything that's popular nowadays going against the grain funny kind of guy so yeah in fact old chris would make fun of new chris however apparently after this post was made whether or not this is real i don't know 
I'm just reporting on it. Chris then decided to message this Twitter user by saying, I saw this tweet from you today and wanted to say my lawyers will be in contact with you shortly with a court notice for defamation. Don't know why you or anyone would tweet something so hatred towards anyone on the internet. It's blatantly disgusting. See you soon, smiley face. Don't be scared now. And Yo6 replied back by saying, what the fuck? Now, once again, that can be entirely scripted. I don't know. You do know most things are already edited, manufactured, fabricated, and edited online. However, then Chris decided to make a joke about the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know if this is damage control or not, but he then recorded that tweet by saying, my lawyer will be in contact with you immediately, and then proceeds to show a picture of Mr. Beast, Jimmy himself. And to my surprise, everybody seems to be really not supporting Chris, telling him he's delusional, saying, you hurt your wife, you hurt your family. I feel sorry for your kid. A lot of creators, to my surprise, you know, saying this is a no, the hormones are talking, this is not cool, and just generally not being on the side of his transformation at this point of his life. And I'll say this, I'll now get into why I feel like this is sad. One, I wholeheartedly believe that gender dysphoria is a terrible affliction to have. I, I will never experience or will be able to empathize or understand how it must feel like to genuinely feel like you're in a body that you were not supposed to be in. You're in a body that you're not meant to be in. Being trapped in a being that every time you see in the mirror fills you with disgust. Honestly, that would not be something that I would ever want to experience. I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy. And I hate to see that a person with such a big platform coming out on the internet, posting pictures of their transformation, although they may be happier and people just like going super hard at them. But then again, this is a grown person. This is an adult and they have to understand that with a big public platform like you have, with as much influence that you have over oh, kids, teens, adults, families, everybody, basically, you're part of the biggest YouTube channel in the world. You gotta understand that the majority of the world doesn't understand what this is, doesn't accept it, is confused by it, and their kids watch you. You're an influence to their children. And plus, you were a married man with a wife and a child of yourself. And now you're on this journey that kinda is like a punch to the gut for probably a lot of people who looked up to you and, and it just seems probably super bizarre and totally random. I don't watch Mr. Beast's content, nor do I watch any of their other or any other channels under their network or people associated with them, but I obviously am a creator on this platform so i am aware of who they are i'll say this though it's sad to me because i hate to see a person going through such a mental affliction to see a person with that affliction and coming out onto the internet posting their journey and expecting to be coddled all the way through but then just getting shitted on it's sad to me. Keep in mind, not everybody who hops on hormone replacement therapy were actually born trans or actually had gender dysphoria since they were a child. A lot of this stuff can be, what's the term that I came up with before? Um, culturally induced to where you weren't necessarily like this before, but through the exposure of, I don't know, certain activities, certain circles, algorithms on certain social media platforms, this stuff can over time subconsciously change your behavior, which can manifest into a physical alteration of who you are as a person over time. This is nothing new, but I just gotta say that we are living in very volatile times with us as a society not being thorough enough in the mental health of a lot of people in our population. And now that Jimmy, aka Mr. Beast, who's been friends with Chris for nearly a decade is put in this position to where who he used to make content with, who used to make fun of exactly what he's doing now, is just probably put in a compromising position to where he has to publicly support his friend if he even if he doesn't necessarily agree with what he's doing on his public platform behind the scenes once again i pity chris mr beast all his supporters what, whatever he's going through right now with his with, with his journey i hope he's happier now and finds more satisfaction in his life now and i hope that his wife and his son can one day overcome this hurdle because it'll be tough psychologically for her and her child and i just want to say that money is not everything just because mr beast or chris can fund the wife and the child and give them any amount of money that they want doesn't mean that that is fulfilling rich kids grow up without a dad and end up becoming some of the most destructive people ever all because they didn't have that father figure in their life but again i'll just leave it at that thank you for watching and i'll catch all you ladies and gents in the next one